the number one fag hag, man. Faggots be the black woman's best friend, but we gonna see in that day, man. That shows that Isaiah 401 gonna, gonna really come into play, man. Cause that faggot that you going to the mall with, uh, eating uh, cheddars with, man, he ain't gonna be able to protect you in that day, man. He gonna be hiding behind you. That's right. Shit. Um, Oh, real? That's, that's, that's after that. Oh, okay. Slug. Go ahead. I'll start again. This is uh, Jeremiah 50 and 37. A sword is upon their horses and upon their chariots, and upon all the legal people that are in the midst of her, and they shall become as women. A sword is upon her treasures, and right. they shall be robbed. Right, so America's going to be robbed, man. All the treasures. All the treasures that America has, man, from, from rape, robbery, and deceit. Murder and destruction, yeah. it's gonna come back, man. We gonna get our gold back, we gonna get back all the all the materials that we had from you damn rock childs and you high elites, man. We gonna get our shit back, man. Time seven. Alright. Verse 38. A drought is upon her waters. Right, so you already see a drought. Hey, no pictures, please. Oh, you good, no, appreciate it, thank you. So anyways, a drought is gonna be, a drought is gonna happen, man. I mean, you already see that happening in California. Water's being dried up across everywhere, man. Famine's happening. Race wars is about to start brewing up with, we want Trump to be in, I want Trump to be in our office, man. Huh? I mean, you already see them niggas on Worldstar made a, uh, made a rap song about them. Yeah, well, I guess. See, when that happens, man, that's just gonna brew up these race wars, which is right. the scriptures talk about, right. man. Yeah, man, now uh, people aren't paying attention to what's going on. It's just so man, because it's everything that we're talking about is for business, man. Our people are engulfed in themselves, man. Yeah. Our people don't pay attention to the time that's going on, man. You seen all this stuff going on, you need to uh, get out your mind that you're invincible, man. Yep. You're not invincible. You're not gonna be okay, you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. There's things that's happening that's going to affect you, and if you're not paying attention, you're going to get you're going to get caught up there bad, man. Yeah. If you believe in a higher power, you need to come out here listening, man. Yeah. Pay attention what's going on, man. Stop being idle-minded. Get your mind out the world, man. Stop being consumed by women and yourself, man. All man want to do is talk about hoes, man. What's so cool about uh, having sex with a full woman that's a hoe? That's what make her a hoe. Everybody done had sex with her, man. And you were just another number? And you're, and you're bragging off of that, man? You're boasting off of that, man? Pay attention, grow up. It's time for you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans to think like men, dog. That's right. Stop acting like a female all the goddamn time, man. Time Our people, uh, Jake wanna, you Negroes just wanna look cute. Nigga, fuck nigga wanna look cute, man. Meanwhile, man, all these policies are going on that's gonna affect you, man, that's, that's happening right now. Hey, man, it goes in a perfect what your brother is saying, bro. Your brother is, is speaking the word, man. If you ain't paying attention, you're gonna get caught out there, man. Right. Like, hey, 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 we can talk about what's going on in the Middle East, man. Just like what your brother said, man. You got China, Russia, you know what I'm saying? Uh, South America, all these people making a uh, pact, man. You got Russia but has the most uh, 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 federal, uh, not the federal, excuse me, but the uh, gold, uh, uh, gold, uh, has the most gold, man. They've been buying up all the gold. People are about to get rid of the uh, the American dollar, man, as a U.S. Uh, reserved uh, uh, currency, man. What is that going to do? That's going to cause hyperinflation, man. All that famine and war and, and, and uh, 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 violence amongst the people, all that's going to happen cheaply because the economy of this place is crashing, man. And if you're not paying attention, it's like what the brother's saying, bro. You're going to get caught out here, man. You gotta pay attention, man. It's time for our people to grow up, man. You gotta grow up in this thing, man. Start questioning. Why is my world, why is my existence like this? Why is my people in this condition, man? And secondly, if you believe in a high power, why is he allowing this to happen? Well, we're telling you why it's happening, man. But you gotta listen. People, man, go ahead, brother. You're doing a good job. Go ahead, man. People don't listen, man. Our people don't, like the scriptures say, man, our people don't consider, man. Yeah, it is. You know? Go ahead and bring your fruit. This second Ezra chapter 9, verse 1. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently within itself. And when thou seest parts of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then thou shalt understand 
That is the very same time when the highest will begin to visit the world, which he made, That's man. That's the very same time that the highest began to visit the world. Go ahead and break it down. Yeah, break man. So what the brothers is going into, man, you got a lot of these niggas, these crackers out here, just going on with the so-called status quo of what society pushed on them, man. In the meantime, for real, for real, if you're spiritual, you need to pay the hell attention to what's really going on around you, man. That's right. War is gearing up right now, man. You got Donald Trump finna be in office right now, man. People are literally fighting at these debates right now, man. And people want to laugh and slander everything that's going on, man. This shit is happening for a reason, man. Open your eyes and pay attention. We are in the end right now. The very end. This is Sirach 5 and 7. Make no tarrying to turn to the Lord. Right, man. Don't wait to turn to the Lord. Don't wait like you niggas say, man. All you niggas want to say is, oh, man, well, I'm going to live my life now. But when I get older, yeah, then, then I'm going to start serving the Lord. I'm going to start going to church. Man, fuck it. Like, forget that, man. Don't wait to tarry to the Lord, man. The scriptures say, seek out the Lord at your youth, man. That's Roughly paraphrasing. You got to seek the Lord while he's still near, man. Because there's going to be a point in time where you ain't going to see us out on the street corners no more, man. All right? So if you a Negro, Latino, or Native American, man, it will behoove you to listen to really start questioning what's going on in this world that you live in, man. All hell finna start breaking loose, man. All right? Go ahead. Man. And put not off from day to day. And don't put off from day to day, man, because our people love to procrastinate, man. Good. Our people are a bunch of procrastinators, man. They put off day to day. I'm gonna serve the Lord, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start reading tomorrow. You know what I mean? Shoot, I wanna, I wanna get right, man, but I wanna eat this last pork chop real quick. You know, I want to get right, man, but my homeboy, man, I got to go smash this girl real fast, but tomorrow I'm going to do it. Nah, man, because right when you're about to do your wickedness, man, you can get destroyed at that very instant, man. Right then and there, man. Like the Ecclesiastes, the 8th chapter, tell you, uh, sentence against the evil work is not executed speedily, man. Right? Like that one nigga that committed adultery, man, it took five years for the Lord to get him, man. Out there, uh, one, of the, one, of the, one of the dudes that was in the Seattle camp. Previously, man, he committed adultery against one brother. Five years passed. What happened to him? He fell down from a five-story building. And what did he do? He punched him, severed, severed his spine, and got his liver, he got his lung punctured. And he has an STD. On the top of it all off. He can't use his lower he extremities. Can't, can't even use his lower extremities no more, man. Don't tell me that ain't judgment, man. Man, man, you niggas gotta wake up, bro. Right. Or not, they go or not man. Wake up or not, man. You can either get right or get left. All right? Yes, Lord, For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth. Right, suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, man. The scriptures say the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night, man, where the heavens is going to burn. And it's going to pass away with the great noise, man. What's that great noise going to be? Nuclear bombs dest destroying this place, man. That's right. That's why when the scriptures say the Lord will come back by fire, what does he mean? These nuclear bombs ain't just gonna, these, these missiles, they're not gonna be put in the museums to be put on the show. No, they're gonna be used eventually. And that day is coming where it's gonna be used, man. All right? And in thy security, thou shalt not, thou shalt be destroyed. Right, in your security, thou shalt be destroyed, man. When you look around, man, and you see these people, they're in their security. When they're gonna go home, they're gonna turn their electricity on. They're gonna drink their water out their faucets or in their or in their uh, water bottles, right? They got the heater. They got air conditioner. They got TV. They got video games. You know, you can have women that you smash on the regular. But all that security, man, all that comfort, man, is gonna come to a complete halt. In the instant, boom, it's gonna happen. You're gonna turn your TV on. Martial law is uh, is forced on the streets. You gotta have a curfew, and if you stepped outside after 10 o'clock, you will be shot on the spot. That's right. Then you're gonna, then you're gonna try to go in your bank account the next day, and you ain't gonna be able to pull no money out because the bank done had a default. <laughs> That's right, brother. You know what I'm saying? That's a beautiful a, ro a loaf of bread gonna cost damn near $70. What you gonna do then? What you gonna do when you go to Walmart and there's gonna be no more food on the shelf? Done. Well, proud of Jesus. Right. What you gonna do? You gonna start praying to Jesus? Done. Sweet, sweet baby Jesus. You gonna start praying to Chessy B, man? That's right. What you gonna do, man? 
I tell you what, the day of the Lord come back and I see and I see him come out of the sky, man, I'm, I'm shooting myself. I'm gonna say something. Go ahead. That's a beautiful point this brother's going into. Because I don't know if you remember earlier, he talked about our people and the lack of faith that our people had. Yep. As soon as hell and calamity hits this place, food goes off the shelves, people buying guns, ammunitions being bought, famines are going on. That's when your faith button is gonna finally be turned on, quote unquote, to call on baby Jesus, like this brother said right here, man. You know, the Lord's not dealing with people like that, man. It tells you in the scriptures, blessed be those servants who I shall pretty much doing the work, roughly paraphrasing, when I come back, man. Right. You can't just turn the faith button on like that and be like, oh, we need Jesus now. But throughout your whole walk in life, you was doing a bunch of wicked yeah. shit and being a fucking nigga, man. The Lord ain't looking for people like that, man. That's why destruction has to hit. And that's why, like he said, it's gonna come as a thief in the night. Because why would the Lord want to tell you when he's coming back? So you can finally have a chance to get right. Oh, the Lord's coming back in two hours, man. Let me let me go to make do whatever the hell you gotta do, man. No, man, he's gonna catch a lot of you niggas slipping. You know? And perish in the day of vengeance. This is Hebrews chapter 10, verse 30. For we know him that had said, Vengeance belongeth unto me. Right, so vengeance belongs to the Lord at the end of the day, man. Vengeance belongs to the Lord. We can't fight the so-called white man by our soul. We don't got the power. We don't got the weapons. The, his blessing is the sword. All right? So we can't do it by ourselves, man. Vengeance belongs to the Lord. All right? All right. I'm going to restart from the top of the verse again. Hebrews chapter 10, verse 30. For we know him that had said, Vengeance belongeth unto me. I will recompense, said the Lord. The Lord's going to pay back, man. You can't pay back nobody, man. The Lord's going to be doing the payback. But if you one of his elect men, you're going to get the payback with him. The Lord's going to change your body. And so you're going to be changed into a spiritual being, man. You're going to have the strength of an angel, man, according to the scripture. If, you, if you're diligent to the words of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, he said that he's going to change you in the twinkling of an eye, man. Your body will be changed from, you will put off mortality and you will put on immortality. What does immortality mean? If you look at Superman, you look at movies like Hancock, X-Men, Dragon, Dragon Ball Z, just, just examples. You're going to have spiritual power. And that's what we're fighting for, man. We fighting to have our bodies changed and to glorify, ultimately to glorify Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh man. That's, right, that's, right. that's why we're out here. Huh. For we know him that had said, Vengeance belongeth unto me. I will recompense, said the Lord. And again, the Lord shall judge his people. Right, so the Lord is going to judge his people, man. You Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man, you're going to be judged. Scripture says that his, his, he's going to start at the house of his sanctuary, man. He's going to start with our people first. Because if you in a grocery store, if you in a bat, if you in a clothing store, and you have your kid, and your kid is playing with another kid, and y'all just messing up the store, are you going to whoop your kid, and are you going to whoop somebody else's kid? No. You're going to deal with your kid first. And that's exactly what the Lord going to do with our people, man. All right, was there any more? I got one more, but this is the key point. Verse 31, it is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. Ooh, it is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the Lord, man. It's a fearful thing, man, because you don't know what he can do to you, man. The Lord created you so he can destroy you any kind of way he wants you. Teeth the wild beasts, like we talked about earlier. Getting put in the damn, getting put in the damn tree shaver. Getting ripped in half, getting put in the guillotine. Could you imagine having your arms and your legs strapped up and then a, and a machine is pulling your body whereas your arms and your legs rip off? I'm just thinking right now, but that's less light compared to what the Lord gonna probably do. You can only use your imagination. But the Lord is going to torture people, man. You wanna know why? Because our people don't wanna get right. That's right. Our people don't wanna listen or forbear to the words that's being spoken, man. That's right. They wanna have fun in their land in, in Babylon and the American dream which is the dream, when you really think about it, the dream is something that you can't even grab. Right. Right. You know, the dream is just something that's not there. You see it, but it's not. What, what, what happens when you wake up from a dream, from a good dream? Like, damn, I wish that shit was real. Hey, you have to be asleep in yeah. order to dream. Hey, that's a beautiful point. Somebody want to hold Romans 13 and 11. Yeah, appreciate it.
Jeremiah 50. Uh, yeah, starting verse 44. This is Jeremiah 50 and 40. As the Lord overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah uh -huh. and their neighbor cities thereof, uh -huh. saith the Lord, uh -huh. so shall no man abide there. Uh -huh. Neither shall any son of man dwell therein. So if you know about the story of Sodom and Gomorrah, do you know about the story of Sodom and Gomorrah? Do you know about the story of Sodom and Gomorrah? Sodom and Gomorrah was a place that pretty much upheld its wickedness, man. You had people, you had men sleeping with men. You had women sleeping with women. You had people just going off into their own lusts. All right? And if you really think about it, what does America portray? It portrays the same thing. So what happened in Sodom and Gomorrah is that Lot stayed in Sodom and Gomorrah. All right? Which is the nephew of Abraham. Roughly paraphrasing, Sodom and Gomorrah got burned and destroyed by fire. So the scripture says here, if you're going to reread verse 40 again, bro. Jeremiah 50 and 40. As the power overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. So he's making a similitude, which he's using as, right? As the Lord overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. And the neighbor cities thereof. And the neighboring cities thereof, the cities around the boat. Safe the Lord, uh -huh. so shall no man abide there. Ain't no man going to abide here eventually, man. This place is going to be utterly destroyed. That's right. It's like how Sodom and Gomorrah was, man. Especially in the time of Noah, man. You know about Noah's Ark? What happened, man? People was marrying, giving into marriage. And what? What was Noah doing? He was being diligent, building an ark. Prophesying, telling these people that, hey, the earth's about to get flooded, man. The Lord told me to build this ark, I'm gonna build this ark. Prophesied for 120 years, man. People didn't, people didn't wanna listen, just like today. That's why the scripture says, man, we're living in the days of Noah all over again, man, but the Lord is gonna baptize this place with fire, man. That's right, bro. All right? So shall, so shall no man abide there, neither shall any son of man dwell therein. Uh -huh. 40, 41, behold, a people shall come from the north, uh -huh. and a great nation, and many kings shall be raised up from the coast of the earth. You got these other nations that's going to come against this place, man. You already got Russia getting uh, geared up. You know? Americans out there in Syria causing all kind of mayhem and mischief. China, North Korea, Iran. All right? You got these other different nations that's being riled up to destroy this place, man, according to prophecy. All right? They shall hold the bow in the land. They shall hold the bow in the land. So they're going to hold their bows to shoot some arrows over here, man, which is going to be these nuclear missiles, man. All right? They are cruel and will not shoot mercy. And they ain't gonna show no, they ain't, there's no, there's gonna be no mercy shown to America, man. That's right. When America gets destroyed, they're not gonna, they're not gonna worry about there's gonna be little babies. They're not gonna worry about their, if their dog's gonna be caught up in the destruction. They're not gonna worry about if grandma, if grandma Maydeen is in the house and she can't move and get to a safe bunker. No, it's not gonna happen. We're not gonna shoot over here, man, because we know that little, we got a family and we got little babies of five. No, it's not gonna happen. No mercy is going to be shown. Their boys shall roar like the sea. Uh -huh. And they shall ride upon horses. They shall ride upon horses, man. Them horses represent power, man. Which those missiles are going to have power in them warheads, man. All right? Everyone put in array. Right, so these missiles are going to be in array, man. They're not going to break their rank. They're going to hit their mark precisely because the spirit of the Lord is gonna be in these missiles, man, to destroy and to hit every mark, all right? Like a man to the battle against thee, O daughter of Babylon. On who? Against thee, O daughter of Babylon. O daughter of Babylon. So you can tell, you can already tell it's not talking, this isn't talking about Babylon back then. Babylon did get destroyed already, but it's saying daughter of Babylon. The daughter of Babylon is America, man because this place portrays the same wickedness as America. Confusion. confusion. But Babylon goes back to the word babal, which means confusion. You got men sleeping with men, women sleeping with women, women are over men, food is all bad, you can't even eat, you can't even eat it. You can't even eat an apple, man, because it's sliced, it's, 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 it's a GMO. 
You know, hey, I had some apple juice and shit. Shit took like sugar water, man. Not an apple in that. It took like sugar water. Bro. You look at all the ingredients, man. You got ingredients you can't even name. Start with X's and yeah, I know. So you know what I'm saying? Sir, dry cox Yeah, like what does all that gotta be in some apple juice? <laughs> preservatives, man. You got preservatives in food, man. You trying to tell me you got preservatives in food, man? That's just disgusting. That is nasty. Man. Good on that. Did you have your precepts still Yeah, yeah, yeah. Second Peter's 3, start at 6. 2 Peter 3 and 6, whereby the world that was being overflowed with water perished. Uh-huh. That's the world that was. Back in time Noah, right? But the heavens and the earth which are now by the same words are 